everyone, I'm Jatin Verma. So guys, here we are for the daily news analysis for 11th of November 2019. Before we begin, I would like to tell you about the special class that I'm going to take at uh, this An Academy Plus uh, at around 11.30 today. So this class is going to be on Tri-Series on Current Affairs for the month of October 2019. I will be covering all the important current affairs for the month of October 2019 through these three classes, three special classes. This uh, three, these three special classes are going to be a part of my upcoming Current Affairs Roundup 365 course on Unacademy Plus. Unacademy Plus pay up, mere sare courses pa sakte hai, ye code use karenge Jatin Verma 71. So you will get 10% discount on your subscription fee. So you can check out the details through the uh, description box of this video. Now coming to this uh, uh, news articles of the day. Ayodhya ruling the national security advisor meets religious leaders. Then we are going to talk about Babul, Bulbul leaves a uh, trail of destruction. The disaster management we are going to talk about. How the cyclones are named. We are also going to talk about the uh, this thing. Now study moods lowering the age of social consent. This is going to be relevant for your GS mains paper 1 social issues. We are going to talk about prevention of child marriage act and then protection of children from Sexual Offences Act. Then center gets the responses to uh, draft the social security code in the light of increasing privatization of economy, in the light of increasing uh, you know nature of uh, increasing uh, contract based jobs, in the light of gig economy model that is being followed by Uber, Ola and other, other you know platforms. So this is going to social security code is being discussed in the government power corridors. The government gives note to four medical devices parks. As we all know that national pharmaceutical, uh, national pharmaceutical pricing authority had started regulating the prices of medical devices like heart stents and coronary stents. So in that light medical device parks are in news. PIB uh, news article says Commerce Minister to participate in 9th BRICS Trade Ministers meet in Brasilia. So after opt out from Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, we are looking for some more options. We are trying to diversify uh, our trade destinations. Now we are looking towards the BRICS. So let's talk about these news articles one by one. These are the editorials. This editorial you can read. This is just about peace and justice among the judgment of the Supreme Court on Ayodhya etc. Now this article after RCEP reticence need for reform recalibration. I had taken a special class. These special classes are free classes on An Academy Plus. I had taken a special class last night on the RCEP. So we'll be having some YouTube session again on this channel itself. You can uh, put an alert or you can subscribe to this channel. This article in brief talks about India's decision to withdraw from the RCEP agreement. The rationale behind this, the decision, the, the uh, rationale behind this decision. Ki how is this decision going to pan out for India in future also? Uh, what are the options available? What is going to be the future of Act East policy of India? Act East policy ka ab kya future reh gaya is opt out decision ke baad. Act, act East policy mein look, look East policy se humne Act East policy banai thi ki hum finally we will be doing something with this Southeast Asian countries. Southeast Asian countries ke saath mein hum kuch trade apna enhance karenge. But ab jab RCEP countries mein se humne opt out kar liya hai to ab iska benefit kya hoga right. To rational behind this decision and the implications of the same this article talks about. Now these two articles, this article throws light on the situation in Kashmir after the abrogation of article 370. We have read quite a lot about 370 and the related details. So this is not of relevance for us. Now this article talks about the recent contemplation to renovate the parliament. Article emphasizes that renovation can be undertaken but keeping in mind the history and the architecture. This article basically is saying that we should not destroy the art and culture, the uh, history of this building should not be destroyed in the process of this kind of renovation. Now this article transformative engagement, this is uh, by the editor here, not of relevance for us, right. Now coming here one by one, 
National Security uh, Advisor Mr. Ajit Doval met a group of Hindu and Muslim religious leaders and intellectuals at his residence here on uh, Sunday. I mean, yesterday, a day after the Supreme Court allowed uh, the construction of Ram Temple at the site where Babri Masjid stood in Ayodhya. This dispute is important, but this is this should be taken by UPSC aspirants as just another news. We should not get steeped into or we should not go too deeper into the contours of this dispute. What is important for us is Supreme Court announced the verdict to the Ayodhya issue on November 10th, 2019. Supreme Court gave the disputed land to Ram Janbhumi Nyas, recognizing Lord Ram, Lord Ram, the deity Ram Lala as the legitimate legal personality. So entire 2.77 acre of disputed property was given to Ram Lala here, right? So he was Lord Ram was made a legal entity here. So faith is taken beyond. Some of the articles are saying, okay, so it's a victory of faith over facts. Some people are saying that these things are there, but we have to just acquaint ourselves with the different different viewpoints and. Uh, what impact is it going to have on the secularism, etc. Now, this is the timeline, 1853, first time of the communal violence during the uh, reign of Nawab Wazid Ali Shah of Awadh. People who represented the Hindu community stated that mosques was, uh, mosque was built after the demolition of the Hindu temple. Now, Faizabad district court rejected the plea, 1885. Likewise, this case went on finally, 2017. Now, in the, before that, 2010 May, Supreme, uh, you know, the Allahabad High Court had given the judgment. That was more of a kind of compromise between the three different uh, groups who were demanding uh, that the land should be given to. One of the groups was demanding that land should be given for construction of Ram Temple, and the other one for mosque. Likewise, the third one was also there. Now, the Supreme Court said the case must be revived. This judgment was. Challenged in the Supreme Court, Allahabad High Court judgment of 2010, which was more of a compromise. We will have a class on the timeline. We will try to understand this Allahabad High Court judgment in that special class on Unacademy Plus. Now, the Supreme Court stated that Babri Masjid demolition case is sensitive and it cannot be resolved without unification of issues. Hence, it's, uh, it appealed to all the stakeholders of Babri Masjid case to find an amicable solution. The Supreme Court reinstated the conspiracy case against the politicians. Against the politicians, uh, the Apex Court also ordered Allahabad Court's bench of Lucknow to complete the hearing within two years. So uh, the case that is pending, pending against uh, senior leaders of BJP for demolition for instigating the car sevaks, uh, Supreme Court reinstated that case. And in that case, in order to do complete justice under Article 142, this is the power of the Supreme Court that in order to ensure complete justice, Supreme Court can go to any extent. Supreme Court can go to any extent. So what did Supreme Court do? Supreme Court had clubbed the two FIR reports, two first information reports, FIR as in FIR 1 where the speech was given, where the speech, instigating speech was given. Uh, this uh, speech was given in a, in the jurisdiction of a different police station or thana. Then FIR 2 was given in an altogether different, uh, you know, FIR 2 was filed in uh, this, uh, uh, this police station jurisdiction where the Babri Masjid is located. So these two different first information reports were clubbed together. Now, the net result of this clubbing up of these two FIR reports is that this is the fact that people gave hateful speech, diya tha, inst, uh, inflammatory speech diya tha, kuch BJP ke leaders ne, to pehle wo bari honne ke unke chances zyada thay. Lekin ab ek FIR ko dusre ka anjaam, dusri FIR ko pehli FIR ka anjaam mana ja raha hai. Yani ki jo speech yahan pe di gai, उसका नेट इफेक्ट यहां पे हुआ कि बाबरी मस्जिद को डिमोलिश किया गया यानी कि इनको भड़काने के आरोप में इनको इंस्टिगेट करने के आरोप में 
इनके खिलाफ अब केस चलाया जाएगा जो लोग वहां पे जिन्होंने ये हेटफुल स्पीच दिया था अब ये माना जाएगा कि इन्हीं के इस स्पीच की वजह से कार सेवक जो है भड़क गए और उन्होंने बाबरी मस्जिद को डिमोलिश किया तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ये टाइमलाइन माय ओनली ड्यूटी इज टू एक्सप्लेन दिस थिंग टू यू नाउ डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट डायरेक्टेड टू अनलॉक द गेट ऑफ गेट फॉर दर्शन टू हिंदू कम्युनिटी इन द प्रोटेस्ट ऑफ वर्ड एक्ट मुस्लिम सेटअप बाबरी मस्जिद एक्शन कमेटी एज अ रिजल्ट द गेट वॉज ओपन फॉर लेस देन वन आर एंड अगेन रिमेन लॉक्ड तो ये पूरी हिस्ट्री है वी नीड नॉट गो इन टू दिस राइट तो लेबरहान कमीशन अपॉइंट किया गया था ये आपके लिए थोड़ा सा इंपॉर्टेंट है लेबरहान कमीशन सबमिटेड इट्स रिपोर्ट इन टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइन इट वॉज सेटअप टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द डिस्ट्रक्शन तो लेबरहान कमेटी ने पंद्रह साल लिए इस रिपोर्ट को सबमिट करने में मोर देन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स राइट तो अलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट क्लब ऑल सिविल सूट अंडर सिंगल टेबल टॉकिंग अबाउट देन टू थाउजेंड टू अलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट पास देन ऑर्डर to the asi to archaeological survey of india to find out any evidence of temple right so these things were there 2009 liberhan commission blamed bjp for their role in demolition to hame ye dekhna nahi hai ki bjp ko blame kiya gaya tha kyunki us samay jo hai humne political party aur politics mein nahi padhna yahan pe it was just that at that time congress government was ruling the country but it is a good step that our security advisor the national security advisor is holding a meeting with a group of hindu as well as muslim religious leaders and intellectuals so this is the government's uh, you know understanding to assuage the concerns of the minority community as well this is how we should be looking at it now lucknow bench of allahabad high court suggested all the parties to resolve the issue through friendly discussion to allahabad high court gave historic judgment that disputed land should be divided into three parts this was taken as a kind of uh, you can say uh, the kind of reproachment or a kind of compromise one third goes to ramlala one third to islamic wakf board and one third to nirmohi akhara so this was a kind of compromise supreme court stayed the allahabad high court judgment ye judgment pe rok laga di gayi aur fir case ko admit kar liya gaya supreme court mein right so this up government said it will not allow the arrival of the stones in ayodhya for the construction of ram mandir because of because that led to communal tension so ye sab cheeze now coming to disaster management natural calamities these were man made these were natural these are natural bulbul leaves a trail of destruction at least 10 people were killed and 25 injured as cyclone bulbul smashed into the low lying areas of bangladesh and bangladesh on sunday bringing in bringing in its wake torrential rains coupled with gales to ye humne us din bhi cover kiya tha aaj hum dekhenge ki how the cyclones are named ye cyclone ka naam bahut acha hai bulbul naam hai right to ye kaise naam diya gaya ye hum dekhenge yahan pe there are five tropical cyclone regional bodies escap wmo world meteorological organization typhoon committee wmo escap panel on tropical cyclones सेकेंड बॉडी आर ए वन ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन कमेटी आर ए फोर हरिकेन कमेटी एंड आर ए फाइव ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन कमेटी इन जनरल ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन आर नेम्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल्स एट द रीजनल लेवल रूल्स आर एट अ रीजनल लेवल तो डब्ल्यू एमओ एस कैप पैनल ऑन ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन एट इट्स ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ सेशन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ सेशन ये चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती हैं क्योंकि इंडिया में एक ही समय पे दो साइक्लोन्स थे अगर इफ दिस इज एन दिस इज इंडियन कोस्ट तो वन साइक्लोन वाज अबाउट टू स्ट्राइक द गुजरात एंड महाराष्ट्र कोस्ट बट इट पीटर्ड आउट देन देयर इज एन अदर साइक्लोन दोनों के ये नाम जो हैं अब इस साल इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाते हैं 2013 में यूपीएससी हैड आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन मेन्स टू दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन फिल्म्स एज वेल नाउ आफ्टर लॉन्ग डेलीब्रेशन अमंग द मेम्बर कंट्रीज the naming of the tropical cyclones over the north indian ocean commenced from september 2004 eight countries india pakistan bangladesh maldives myanmar oman oman is also included here sri lanka and thailand participated in the panel and came up with a list of 64 names so eight countries eight names each eight into eight 64 names if public wants to suggest the name of a cyclone to be included in the list the proposed name must meet some fundamental criteria the rmsc website says the name should be short 
and readily understood when broadcast okay name should be short and it shouldn't be the case that you are suggesting your name or i am suggesting my name name should be short and crisp now the names must not be culturally sensitive and should not convey any unintended and potentially inflammatory meaning to this thing so how the naming takes place to le pehle list 1 mein bangladesh will suggest these names list 1 mein pehle onil fir agni naam was given by india तो अब अग्नि नाम जब यूज हो जाएगा उसके बाद जब साइक्लोन दोबारा से आएगा तो उसको नाम हिब्रू दिया जाएगा फिर उसके बाद म्यांमार का जो सजेस्टेड नेम है प्यार वो दिया जाएगा राइट तो ऐसे प्यार बुलबुल और ये सब इसमें चलते रहता है रोटेट होते जाएगा जब लिस्ट वन पूरी एग्जॉस्ट हो जाएगी फिर लिस्ट टू आ जाएगी जब लिस्ट टू पूरी एग्जॉस्ट हो जाएगी फिर लिस्ट थ्री आ जाएगी राइट तो दिस इज हाउ इट गोज तो अभी हम लिस्ट एट पे काम कर रहे हैं फानी वायु हिका राइट कयर महा बुलबुल सो maha was the cyclone ka naam which was given for the cyclone that was about to strike the arabian coast of india right arabian coast line of india to maharashtra uske baad bulbul right ab jo next hoga uska naam hoga pavan clear so this is how it works now these countries submitted eight names each which are arranged in an eight into eight table this is this is how the names are arranged the first cyclone after the list was adopted was given the name in the first row of the first column onil proposed by bangladesh subsequently subsequent cyclones are being named sequentially column column wise with each cyclone uh, given the name immediately below that of the previous cyclone so once the bottom of the column is reached the sequence moves to the top of the next to jaise maine bataya ki jab hum yahan pahunch jayenge तो फिर हम यहां से दोबारा शुरू करेंगे वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक वाइज फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट फिर उसके बाद नाइन्थ अब यहां से शुरू हो जाएगा लाइक वाइज दी एंटायर लिस्ट अब हम यहां पे हैं तो दिस मीटिंग विल टेक प्लेस अगेन इन इन एन ईयर और नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ फ्रीक्वेंटली दीज साइक्लोन्स टेक प्लेस फिर उसके बाद ये और ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाएगा ये मैकेनिज्म सो दैट्स वाई टू का क्वेश्चन था टू का नहीं when the list ends after the 64 names are exhausted the eight countries will propose fresh lists of names the list of storms in atlantic and eastern pacific basins are however rotated so that list remains the same but our list keeps on changing hamari jo list hai that keeps on changing tropical cyclones are largely confined to south china sea bay of bengal and gulf of mexico why this was 2014 ka question 2013 question was how the cyclones are named exceptions are though this is the criteria now study moods lowering the age of consent as i said this is important for your gs mains paper 1 gs 1 the social issues right so child marriage etc isme hum ye baat karenge ye study ek conduct kari gayi hai a new study calls for a need to distinguish between self arranged marriages among older adolescents and forced child marriages to protect teens from social stigma parental backlash and punitive action context a study was published by partners for law in development in favor of an age of consent that is lower than the age of marriage so partners for law naam se ek ngo hai unhone ye publish kara hai basically ho kya raha hai ye study is suggesting that the law needs to be amended the uh, protect the, this prevention of child marriages act needs to be amended so as to incorporate kyunki kai bar kya hota hai ki couple jo hai adolescent couple jo jis adolescent couple mein girl is below the age of 18 years to they elope wo log ghar se bhag jate hain fearing the opposition from parents resulting in a situation where families approach the police who पुलिस देन बुक द बॉय फॉर रेप अंडर दी पोक्सो यानी कि अगर हम ये देखें कि एक बॉय एंड गर्ल है इफ द बॉय एंड गर्ल दे इलोप ओके तो वट हैपन्स इज बॉय एंड गर्ल में इफ दे इलोप तो मेल को जो है मेल के खिलाफ फीमेल के पेरेंट्स जो है शिकायत करेंगे पुलिस में और दिस बॉय वुड बी अरेस्टेड ऑन द चार्ज ऑफ यू नो किड दी गर्ल तो ये चीजों को काउंटर करने के लिए अब स्टडी ने यह कहा है कि ये जो पेरोशियल माइंड सेट्स हैं जो प्री मोडियल माइंड सेट्स हैं रूरल एरियाज में जैसे कि हम मूवीज में भी देखते हैं यू नो अभी एक हरियाणा पे जो मूवी बनी थी सांड की आंख और उसमें भी यह दिखाया गया कि गर्ल्स आर नॉट गिवन इन अ फ्रीडम 
तो दैट्स वाई ये सब चीजों को काउंटर करने के लिए स्टडी का ये कहना है दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन वेयर फैमिलीज अप्रोच द पुलिस एंड पुलिस देन बुक द बॉय फॉर रेप अंडर एन अदर लॉ पोक्सो एंड एंड एबडक्शन विद द इंटेंट टू मैरी एबडक्शन मतलब किसी को भगा के ले जाना जबरन शादी करने के लिए तो ये चीजें ये चार्जेस लगते हैं अंडर द आईपीसी और प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज एक्ट तो यानी कि किया कहा क्या जा रहा है कि दिस पीसीएमए प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज एक्ट एंड पोक्सो का जो इंटरफेस है पोक्सो में सेक्शन 375 आईपीसी के तहत पोक्सो मतलब प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम सेक्शुअल मैरिजेस फ्रॉम सेक्शुअल ऑफेंसेज एक्ट तो पोक्सो एक्ट 2012 के तहत बच्चे को उस मेल चाइल्ड को या मेल एडोलिसेंट को गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा अब ये कहा जा रहा है कि ये जो इंटरफेस है सेक्शन 375 ए सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने डिलीट कर दिया था सेक्शन 375 ए का मतलब है रेप राइट सेक्शन 375 डील्स विद रेप सेक्शन 375 ए वाज एन एक्सेप्शन अर्लियर कि अगर अगर चाइल्ड मैरिज के केस में आ, लड़का या लड़की में कोई रेप का केस अगर लगता है तो वो रेप का केस माननीय नहीं होगा क्योंकि दिस इज अ केस ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज लेकिन अगर कोई 18 साल से कम आयु के लड़के या लड़की से कुछ छेड़छाड़ सेक्सुअल हेरिसमेंट या कुछ सेक्सुअल ऐसा रहता है बोथ विद मेल एंड फीमेल दैट इज पनिशेबल अंडर पोक्सो एक्ट बट पोक्सो एक्ट में एक एक्सेप्शन दिया गया था सेक्शन थ्री ए आई जो ये कहता था कि वैसे तो सेक्शन 375 के तहत रेप रेप है लेकिन अगर चाइल्ड मैरिजेस के केस में रेप का केस लाया जाता है तो वो माना नहीं जाएगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इस एक्सेप्शन को भी डिलीट कर दिया था 2018 में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये कहा रेप इज अ रेप बी इट इन द केस ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज एज वेल उसी के चलते अब ये कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी होने लगी है कि एबडक्शन के चार्ज पे पेरेंट्स जो है पुलिस को अप्रोच करते हैं और पुलिस लड़के को गिरफ्तार कर लेती है जबकि ये दोनों में कॉन्सेंशुअल रिलेशन है शादी करना चाहते हैं दोनों लेकिन ये तो होना ही था टाइप्स राइट नाउ कमिंग हियर फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द स्टडी व्हाई गर्ल्स रन अवे टू मैरी एडोलिसेंट रियलिटीज एंड सोशो लीगल रिस्पॉन्सेज इन इंडिया दे आर बेस्ड ऑन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस स्टडी इज बेस्ड ऑन अ क्वालिटेटिव स्टडी ऑन गर्ल्स इन कॉन्सेंटिक रोमांटिक रिलेशनशिप्स वाइल द गर्ल्स फेस restrictions on their mobility premarital relations and sexuality the same was not true for the boys of same social milieu who enjoyed greater freedom the study also assumes significance when the government has been discussing amending prohibition of child marriage act to declare all child marriages null and void from the beginning now i ask you critically comment this is a mains question critically comment on this uh, thing that would it be right to amend the child mar- to, uh, child, to amend the uh, prohibition of child marriages act to the effect that all the child marriages would be null and void we are in the age of consent we have talked about hadia judgment hadia judgment mein supreme court ne ye kaha tha just because a girl is not of 18 years of age child marriage should be uh, declared as null and void right तो ये बात ठीक है कि चाइल्ड दी पर्सन हु इज बिलो दी एज ऑफ 18 इयर्स ऑफ एज दे कैन आई मीन हु आर बिलो दी एज ऑफ 18 इयर्स ऑफ एज दे कैन अप्रोच दी कोर्ट विद इन टू इयर्स इफ अ गर्ल मैरिज इफ अ गर्ल गॉट मैरिड विद अ बॉय चाइल्ड मैरिज केस एट दी एज ऑफ लेट्स से 17 एंड अ हाफ इयर्स एंड आफ्टर टू इयर्स ऑफ दी 18 इयर्स ओके दैट मीन्स एटीन प्लस टू टू ईयर्स आफ्टर अटेनिंग मेचोरिटी if she feels that this marriage was a uh, forced marriage or she was not uh, mature enough to take this decision then she can get this marriage null and void and not anybody else in its current form law only permits one of the consenting parties either boy or girl to seek the annulment of child marriage as children until 2 years after they turn adults after they turn adults in case of minors their parents can seek the annulment minors ke case mein parents can seek the annulment right to ye cheeze isme law mein di gayi hain ab is law ko amend karne ki baat kari ja rahi hai ki ye kuch bhi nahi rahega seedha wo marriages child marriages jo hai null and void declare kar di jayengi right to 
young and vulnerable a look at the number of different cases uh, case scenarios cited in the study seven cases saw boys facing rape kidnap charges and girls being sent to shelter homes to yahan pe bhi barbadi hai agar girls ka hum jeevan dekhe if we have a look at the life of uh, lives of these seven girls uh, who have been sent to uh, these shelter homes child care homes what is their life and the boy boy was he should be given a sympathetic uh, treatment here but that is not happening four cases saw boys disappearing for different reasons including fear of police action etc two later rejoined their girlfriends to so, 11 girls had to face hostility from parents some of them even cut off ties so this is a serious issue here right तो दोनों चीजें सही हैं कि चाइल्ड मैरिज एक्ट को नलीफाई भी करना चाहिए बट अगर प्रॉपर रिहेबिलिटेशन मैकेनिज्म लैकिंग है तो इसके लिए पहले कुछ एक जरिया इसको लेके आना चाहिए कि इस पर क्या किया जाएगा राइट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट नीड्स टू फर्स्ट कंडक्ट अ स्टडी एंड नीड्स टू सी कंसल्टेशन फ्रॉम द इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड देन शुड अराइव एट अ डिसीजन वेदर टू अमेंड दिस लॉ और नॉट फॉर द टाइम बींग यू कैन ट्राई अटेम्प्टिंग दिस क्वेश्चन would it be right to amend the child marriages act right so this is there now pokso act kya hai po uh, protection of children from sexual offences act 2012 offers protection for ch from for children yani ki for for both males and females okay not only for females for children from sexual assault sexual harassment and pornography while safeguarding the interest of the child at every stage of investigation or judicial process it defines and includes all forms of sexual assaults pornography etc sara kuch isme included hai mandatory reporting if an individual knows that a child has been sexually abused he she is under legal duty to report it and failure to do so may lead to 6 months of imprisonment and or a fine now responsibilities of police etc you can read this yourself let's move to some other issue center gets responses to draft social security code ab social security code kya hai isko fatafat se samjhenge yahan pe pehle social security code is basically as we are converting into as we are turning into a private sector economy this is the ladder of progress this is ye cd hai pragati ki progression jo career ka hota hai private sector mein गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में क्या होता है कि एट एवरी स्टेज यू आर हैविंग सम इंश्योरेंस ईएसआई एस आई स्टेट इंश्योरेंस प्रोविडेंट फंड पेंशन एट्सेट्रा यू वुड गेट एट द एज ऑफ रिटायरमेंट एंड देन एनुअल इंक्रीमेंट इज देयर प्राइवेट सेक्टर में ये गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर का करियर लाडर या हम ये कहें कि कैसे गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर जो है एक जाल बुनता है एक सिक्योरिटी नेट है कि अगर कोई वर्कर यहाँ से नीचे गिर जाता है इफ ई फॉल्स देन देर इज अ नेट टू प्रोटेक्ट हिम एंड दिस नेट इज the net of employee state insurance hospitals etc etc organized sector government employees ki yadi hum baat kare but private sector mein yahan pe ab government sector mein salaries kam rehti hain 25000 salary rahegi ek clerk ki lekin agar same clerk private sector mein kaam kar raha hai to ladder is as shaky ladder is even shaky recession boom etc lekin agar yahan pe koi girta hai to niche koi social security ke liye social security web नहीं है तो इसको स्ट्रेंथन करने के लिए गवर्नमेंट अब एट लॉज को मर्ज करने जा रही है एम्प्लॉयज कॉम्पेंसेशन एक्ट 1923, ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टेट इंश्योरेंस एक्ट 1948, फोर्टी एट प्रोविडेंट फंड्स एंड मिसलेनियस प्रोविजंस एक्ट 1952, फिफ्टी बेनिफिट एक्ट 1961, पेमेंट ऑफ ग्रेचुटी एक्ट लाइक ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू जब जब ये लॉज फॉर्मुलेशन में रहती हैं जैसे हमने बात करी प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ sorry prohibition of child marriage act whenever these laws are in news for the for the reasons like amendment or merging all these laws into a social security code then the existing features of these laws would be important for your prelims existing features or existing sections etc provisions would be important and when the law has finally been brought about then it becomes the topic important for your mains exam right so coming here code on social security once it will be in place it would have merged eight existing labor laws including these laws however many trade unions are against the proposal for 
provident fund pension and insurance funds to be administered by a central board and a national pension scheme that employees can opt for trade unions jisko resist kar rahi hai right to ye trade unions ke resistance aur ye sab cheezon ko bhi samjhenge kisi din daily news analysis mein kisi editorial ke zariye to the draft code on social security which subsumes eight existing laws covering these provident fund law etc to ye sari cheeze uh, government envisage kar rahi hai for unorganized sector ki private sector mein unorganized sector mein jaisa ki hum gig economy dekhte hain ki ek uber ola ka koi driver hai so he installs the app on this on his mobile phone uber ola etc right to so, ab this person he never know he never knows ki kab jo hai incentives kam ho jayenge per kilometer rate kab kam ho jayega and he is not on the payrolls of the company uber and ola same is the case with swiggy same is the case with zomato inke jo workers hain same is the case with amazon delivery boys who are being paid per package uh, rate for रेट पर पैकेज फॉर डिलीवरी तो बेनिफिट्स फॉर गिग वर्कर्स गवर्नमेंट ये भी सोच रही है कि इन लोगों के लिए कुछ किया जाना चाहिए अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर एम्प्लॉयमेंट जो है इंक्रीज होते चले जा रहा है तो जैसे हमने देखा था कि फ्यू मंथ्स अगो आई थिंक वन ईयर अगो प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया हैड कॉमेंटेड कि अगर एक पकौड़े बेचने वाला भी दिन के एंड में दो सौ रुपये अर्न कर लेता है तो उसे भी उसे भी रोजगार माना जाना चाहिए तो फिर ऑपोजिशन ने प्राइम मिनिस्टर को एक्यूज किया था फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट प्रधानमंत्री पकौड़ा योजना एक्सेट्रा तो ये सब चीजों का एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड रिस्पांस गवर्नमेंट लेके आ रही है अगर हम एक यूपीएससी की तैयारी के कॉन्टेक्स्ट uh, में से देखें सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट शैल फॉर्मुलेट एंड नोटिफाई फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम सुटेबल वेलफेयर स्कीम्स फॉर अनऑर्गेनाइज वर्कर्स ऑन मैटर रिलेटिंग टू लाइफ एंड डिसेबिलिटी कवर हेल्थ एंड मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट्स ओल्ड एज प्रोटेक्शन एंड एनी अदर बेनिफिट एज आई सेड ऑर्गेनाइज वर्कर्स के लिए चाहे गवर्नमेंट या प्राइवेट में हो उनके लिए तो है बट अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर में ये नहीं है और कुछ प्राइवेट कंपनीज जो बहुत अच्छी सैलरीज पे करती हैं उनमें भी ये सब प्रोविजन आफ्टर वर्क लाइफ में आफ्टर फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी और सिक्सटी ईयर्स ऑफ एज द रिटायरमेंट एज उसके बाद क्या होगा अब गवर्नमेंट ये भी कह रही है कि कॉरपोरेटाइजेशन किया जाएगा ई पी एफ ओ का और एम्प्लॉयज स्टेट इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन का The pension, insurance, and retirement saving bodies, including EPFO and ESIC, will be body corporate. So, yani ki inko company ke way mein chalaya jayega, taaki inke shares list kare ja sake aur inki performance ko evaluate kiya ja sake. So, ye ek achhi news hai. Labour Minister, Labour Secretary, Central uh, Provident Fund Commissioner, and Director General of ESIC may not be by default the head of such organisations. By default, wala kam khatam ho jayega. this for them there would be a ceo or managing director for these type of funds going forward after the law gets shaped now two parallel run schemes of the government which are the aadhar card to ye related question hai remotely related hai but kuch kuch jab cheeze aisi chal rahi hoti hain to aise type ke questions you can expect government gives approval for four medical devices parts thoda sa context dekhte hain 2015 NPPA started regulating the National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority started regulating the prices of medical devices please pay attention here it is national pharmaceutical pharmaceutical pricing authority medical devices nahi likha gaya hai isme national pharmaceutical and medical devices pricing authority hota then it would have been better but medical devices aisa ho raha tha ki ये जो फोर्टेस या फिर ये जो बड़े बड़े हॉस्पिटल चेंज हैं विदाउट एनी प्रेजिडेस अगेंस्ट देम सो दे वर चार्जिंग मेडिकल फार्मास्यूटिकल्स के प्राइजेस क्योंकि रेगुलेटेड हैं बट इनका जो एडिशनल जो चीजें रहती हैं कंज्यूमेबल्स जिसे हम कहते हैं ग्लव्स ग्लव्स आपने बाइक्स के लिए खरीदे होंगे सत्रह के दो के लेकिन मेडिकल ग्लव्स टू के चार्ज किए जा रहे थे जस्ट टू एक्सटॉट द मनी हॉस्पिटल आजकल होटेल्स जैसे होते हैं हम देखते हैं तो होटेल्स का किराया कम होगा हॉस्पिटल के रूम का किराया ज्यादा तो नेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल प्राइजिंग अथॉरिटी ने यह देखा कि अल्टीमेटली नेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल प्राइजिंग अथॉरिटी का काम क्या है अफोर्डेबल मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट बट मेडिकल फार्मास्यूटिकल प्राइजेस को रेगुलेट करने से अफोर्डेबल मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिल रहा था अब होटेल के सॉरी हॉस्पिटल के रूम के प्राइस को रेगुलेट करना इज नॉट इन दूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ नेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल 
pricing authority so at least national pharmaceutical pricing authority thought ki at least medical devices hain jaise ki heart stent yani ki agar kisi ko heart ki problem hai to koi heart stent kisi ko majburan dalwana padega right heart stents hain coronary stents hain knee caps hain ab koi sone ka daan to hai nahi ki koi jaan ke dalwayega to heart stent hai after all to iska price yadi 1 lakh hoga to problem hai राइट right? तो मतलब कि दिल लेना दिल देना महंगा हो जाएगा इस केस में अब प्रॉब्लम ये हुई कि इन्होंने ये प्राइजेस रेगुलेट करने शुरू कर दिए बट अमेरिकन कंपनीज जैसे कि बेयर बी ए वाई ई आर दे स्टार्टेड पुटिंग प्रेशर ऑन इंडियन गवर्नमेंट बेयर एक्सेट्रा दे स्टार्टेड पुटिंग प्रेशर 2015 दी चीफ ऑफ एन पी पी ए वॉज रिमूव एब्रप्टली एंड Ministry of Health and Family Welfare gave itself the power to regulate the to finally approve the prices of these drugs. NPPA was made just a recommendatory body, right? वो था knee jerk reaction because America was putting pressure. American companies through American government through our beloved Donald Trump they were putting pressure on the government of India. जैसे हम बोलते हैं business lobbying. अब गवर्नमेंट ने मेक इन इंडिया इन मेडिसिन का एक कॉन्क्रीट ठोस कदम लिया है विच शुड बी अप्रिशिएटेड द गवर्नमेंट हैज अप्रूव सेटिंग अप ऑफ फोर मेडिकल डिवाइसेस दिस डिवाइस पार्क्स विद अ व्यू टू सपोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया इनिशिएटिव एंड प्रोवाइड वर्ल्ड क्लास ट्रीटमेंट एट अफोर्डेबल प्राइसेस हम ऑलरेडी जानते हैं कि इंडिया इज अमर्जिंग एज अ वेरी गुड डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू नो सरोगेसी फीमेल सरोगेसी यू नो और उसके बाद for affordable treatment for heart patients etc india is emerging as a very good destination for medical treatment as well but we were lacking in these kind of lacking in these kind of medical devices etc india is largely an importer of medical devices with domestic industry accounting for about 2% of global industry which stands at us dollar 250 billion so about the parks the four parks will be set up in andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu and kerala Uttarakhand and Gujarat have also approached the center for a go ahead for such parks. These parks will provide necessary infrastructure where companies can easily plug and play. Okay, infrastructure rahega pura wahan pe jo bhi ecosystem develop karna hai. Jaise hum leather sector ke liye dekhte hain, leather sector ke liye ek dedicated parks Kanpur ke around aur ye sab kiya jata hai. Ya fir agricultural industry, sugar cane belt hai. वैसे ही ये इकोसिस्टम जैसे स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन्स होते हैं वैसे टाइप का बनाया जाएगा सो दैट कंपनीज कैन जस्ट पुट अप अ फैक्ट्री एंड देन कैन इजीली स्टार्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग दीज थिंग्स रॉ मटेरियल एंड रिलेटेड थिंग इक्विपमेंट वुड बी इजीली एक्सेसिबल टू दीज अपकमिंग फैक्ट्रीज इन दिस पार्क और गवर्नमेंट ने इससे इससे पहले एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स यानी कि जो कोई मेडिकल कोई भी टैबलेट या कैप्सूल बनाने के लिए जो भी मटेरियल चाहिए होता है उसमें जो रॉ मटेरियल है एक वैसे इसके लिए हम चाइना पे डिपेंडेंट थे हमारे पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स गॉट डिसफंक्शनल बिकॉज ऑफ कंपटीशन फ्रॉम चाइनीज कंपनीज अब अगर चाइना पानी बंद कर दे ब्रह्मपुत्रा का तो अलग बात है लेकिन अगर चाइना एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स का इम्पोर्ट इंडिया को बंद कर देता तो हमारी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री और हमारी पूरी मेडिकल जो हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज हैं वहां पे ये जरूरी दवाएं मिलना बंद हो जाती तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज टेकन द स्टेप टू रिवाइव आई मीन द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन द स्टेप टू रिवाइव पी एस यू मेडिकोज मेडिकल कंपनीज को राइट right? तो ये एक अच्छा चीज है कि एपीआईज अब इंडिया में मैन्युफैक्चर होने लगेंगे लाइक वाइज मेडिकल डिवाइसिस के लिए भी ये पार्क बनाए जा रहे हैं दिस इज टू रिड्यूज द वलरेबिलिटी ऑफ इंडिया ऑन फॉरन पावर्स मोर सो when the you know these reports like lancet journal on medical studies etc they are saying that india is going to emerge as a capital for cardiovascular diseases heart diseases etc the scheme proposes to provide rupees 25 crore or 70% of the project cost of setting up of cfcs common facility centers jahan pe ki sari buniyadi facilities inko available karai jayengi right so this is there Commerce Minister to participate in ninth BRICS Trade Ministers meet in Brasilia. Commerce and Industry and Railway Minister will be on a tour to Brazil and United States. So we are trying to look outside RCEP now. Now that RCEP is already gone, 
Okay, so we are trying to look somewhere else. Discussions at the 9th BRICS trade ministers meet will be focused on opportunities for enhanced intra BRICS trade and investment cooperation. Issues like cooperation in e commerce, investment facilitation, MSMEs, intellectual property rights will be discussed during the meeting. Deliberations on the current global economic and trade environment, challenges facing the uh, multilateral trading system, ways of advancing the BRICS trade and investment cooperation will also take place. Another important outcome of the ministerial meeting under the current Brazilian presidency is the signing of an MOU among trade and investment promotion agencies of BRICS countries. Remember, BRICS means Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So, first it was BRICS, then it was South Africa later on joined in. So, China factor is still here. China factor was here also. Right, so China has not been budging. RCEP talks ke failure ke baad, RCEP se opt out karne ke baad, India is looking for some greener pastures outside. Right, so yeh sab cheeze hain. So, BRICS ki agar hum timeline dekhi, the term BRICS was introduced by a bank. Which bank it was? You have to cite in the comment section, right? So, four countries began to have regular uh, meetings from 2006 onwards. Four countries, yani ki BRIC. So, yeh sara iska timeline hai. Russia hosted the first official BRIC meeting with the heads of the states of four countries. Then 2010, BRIC became formal institution in 2010. With this uh, formalization, BRIC had become a uh, you know force to reckon with, force for global political as well as economic transformation. 2012, May, South Africa became the member of the bloc in 2011 as the only country in the bloc, as the only African country in the bloc, right. So, first BRICS summit here were BRICS uh, countries, they soon expanded their goal to cooperating with each other in creating their own institutions. Aap comment section mein bataoge ki kaun si institutions create kare gai hai BRICS countries dwara, right. Kaun si banks create kare gai hai, yeh sab cheeze you would have to tell in the comment section. So, uh, for the Lisa de declaration recently in news is related to the affairs of which grouping? So, please, please answer this 2015 May this question was asked by UPSC. So, that brings us to the end of the class today. I am dealing with the daily Hindu news and editorial analysis in a topic based manner on Unacademy Plus. Topic based manner mein, in which we pick up one topic jaysay ki aaj humne uh, medical devices parks ki baat kari ya fir protection of child, prohibition of child marriage act ki baat kari topic based manner mein on academy plus pe you can find all my courses uh, Indian economy for UPSC CSE which is going to start in the third week of November this course has started on 8th of November I have taken just one class as of now only one class right so you can consider joining on academy plus today itself to access all my courses. There are other educators also doing great work there. So, very renowned names are also there. This single subscription will help you get all the courses on an academy plus itself, all my courses, right. So, you can use this code Jatin Verma 71 to get 10% discount on your an academy plus subscription. So, this was all guys. Thank you. Have a great day. See you again tomorrow. Every day between 9 to 9.15 am, I will be doing the Daily The Hindu News Analysis here on this YouTube channel. Thank you guys.